out. Mason doesn't want to go up and over onto that back again. Working his way through, here we go. Desperation, Carter Mason, two. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby! Carter Mason! And Dukes has pushed right through. You naked choke, Mason's tapping now, but I mean, he, he already won. Tyson Dukes not letting go here. Renda calling out the locker room. Very quick to respond. I mean, they were all standing there watching the match. Finally getting him off. Tyson Dukes, I don't know if he realizes they lost or if he's just pissed off, but obviously must know now with all these guys fighting him off to get back to Mason. Mason limp and going after the limp body of the premier champion. Tyson Dukes, this is disgusting. Hello everybody and welcome to Demand Lucha! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest for Lucha de los Muertos is a submission match and it is for the Lucha Premier Championship! Introducing first, Tyson Dukes! Greetings Lucha lovers, Hutch Henry's here and it's Lucha de los Muertos 2021 and thank God Lucha is back. And here is Tyson Dukes in the ring, we're starting off hot and heavy, Premier Championship on the line, submission match, and there is El Cranio, the world's largest luchador. Not unusual to see him with Tyson Dukes here at Demand Lucha. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, he is the Lucha Premier Champion. champion of all time, COVID pandemic shutdown or nay, this guy would still have the record. Carter Mason in the house. It's the return of the king. Carter Mason losing his crown there. Hopefully that is not an omen of what is to come. We saw what happened last month with Tyson Dukes choking the heck out of Carter Mason, setting up this match here. Carter Mason put it all on the line here in a submission match. Certainly the specialty of his opponent, Tyson Dukes. I would not say that that is a specialty of Carter Mason. So uphill battle here for the champ. And Mason, giving a little bit of attitude here to some Tyson Dukes fans in the front row. When we were last in London, the fans were definitely behind Tyson Dukes. That is his hometown. But even here tonight, a smattering of cheers for Tyson Dukes, a smattering of boos for Carter Mason. So we're going to see what happens here tonight. And here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. And that's what it's all about. The Premier Championship. And here we go. What I would have thought was gonna be our main event starting off Lucha de los Muertos 2021. It's gonna be absolutely insane. Collar and elbow here. Premier Championship on the line submission match. Side headlock from Carter Mason. We saw Tyson Dukes apply this hold liberally in their last encounter. A ground and pound encounter that was for sure. Three, two, three. Into the ropes, referee calling for the break. Fans getting into it, open and match up here. And there you go, Tyson now with a headlock of his own. Carter Mason known as the King of the North, but Tyson Dukes coming out to Johnny Cash. 
Sooner or later, God will cut you down, and Tyson Dukes is a veritable god around these parts. Been on the scene forever, has held every major championship, has his own training school, the School of Hard Knocks in London, training the younger generation, and this man is a god of ground and pound mat action, and I think he's going to seriously outclass Carter Mason here, especially in a submission match like this. Here's Carter fighting out the best he can here out of this move, and front face lock it. There we go. Their last encounter in London, I gotta say, Carter Mason, seemed to have Tyson Duke's number throughout that match, was able to get out of a lot of uh, positions and sticky situations. Hopefully he'll be able to do that here because there is no pinfalls in this match. Carter Mason is going to have to submit Tyson Dukes if he wants the victory here. And Tyson Dukes, I mean, he's got a plethora of submission moves in his arsenal. I wouldn't say that about Carter Mason. Mason, here we go, attempting cross arm breaker. Don't see that too often from Mason. One submission move he applies rather often is a rolling guillotine choke where he ends up sitting down on his opponents. Uses that in almost every match. Has had quite a few victories in his career with that move, but Tyson Duke's an absolute master of submission. And look at him here, stepping on the hand of Mason. Had the knee in the back before, and look at that, his wrist right across the bridge of the nose of Carter Mason, as well as making it very difficult for him to breathe. And there with the knee on the lower back again, Tyson Duke's just wrenching on Carter Mason. He showed up here in an absolutely brutal, bitter and dour mood. And Tyson Dukes seems to be projecting those emotions here on his opponent, Carter Mason. And it's probably going to behoove him in this match if he can come out with the premier championship. Oh man, and just wrenching. knee across the face. The man Lucha coming to you from the Forge Martial Arts and Fitness in Mississauga for Lucha de los Muertos. The crowd getting behind Mason here, willing him to get out of this maneuver. We had a 200 ticket cap for this show, which sold out fairly quickly. Government regulations with COVID-19, but I'm very happy to announce, oh, oh, stinging blow from Carter Mason. I'm very happy to announce that just four days ago, the Ontario government has opened up restrictions completely and we will be coming to you from the Opera House for our next major show. That's going to be off the hook. Look for us there. Here we go. Tyson Dukes manipulating the limbs of Carter Mason, digging in with a huge chop there. The master going to work. Oh, wow. And you can see Mason grimacing taking the pain on that one. Back into the corner again. Third time with the chop. One more time. No, ah, deacon out the fan, snap mare. Oh, no, come on ref, is that shin bone across the throat? I guess not. Referee Cody Ireland right in there checking things out. Back into a different corner now. And big boot right to the gut. Tip of the boot too, and a clubbing blow. Tyson Dukes methodically taking apart Carter Mason to the far side. Mason blocks, and a big forearm delivered to Dukes, and a second time. Mason getting an advantage here, headbutt after three forearms. Oh, and back to the chops in the corner. These two guys, these two hosses, they got a lot to prove to each other. And Mason, forearms, chops back and forth, chopping down the big tree and the mountain that is Tyson Dukes and just battering him down into the corner. Referee breaking that up. And just choking out Tyson Dukes in the corner. Carter Mason pounding his chest. A proud champion, been representing this company through the pandemic and has taken every single challenge we've put in front of him. He's had his best friend betray him. He's had to deal with the Serpent Society. He's had to deal with his own serious medical issues. He's had to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic and every single international luchador that we have thrown at him and he's come out on top every single time. And Duke's here working away on the premier champion. Oh, second time now, digging that knee right into the spine and just mauling Carter Mason down to the ground. 
every single thing that Tyson Dukes does, he does with purpose and all of it hurts. Grinding in the knees and the forearms with every single move, tying up the legs, more knees to the back. And look, what's he gonna do here? Bow and arrow submission maneuver here. And don't forget folks, this is a submission match. No pinfalls in this one. I would assume no countouts either. Perhaps even no disqualification. But look, Carter Mason fighting out here of this submission move. And look at the pain on Carter Mason's face. Rolling out there on top of him, but no, there is no pinfalls in this match like I was just saying. Mason immediately up and filling him with the forearms. Rear naked choke here. Grapevine and Tyson Dukes. Dukes getting out, rolling through. And back once again to that reverse chin lock. Spinning him around. Whew. Huge elbow right to the spine. And Duke seems to be concentrating if I if I had to pick a body part on the back of Carter Mason. Big forearms. And, yeah, there we go. Another forearm. Been grinding in those knees, putting his weight on Carter Mason's back. And that was part of uh, the problems that Carter Mason had when he was off for that period of time with his medical issues. A lot of it had to do with his back. And another big shiv from Tyson Dukes to Carter Mason. Kicking out the knee. And the other one, man, absolutely vicious. Tyson Dukes picking apart Carter Mason. And again to the knee, just keeping him humbled this entire match, pointing at the ref. What's going on now? Was that a member of the audience there? Perhaps whoever Carter Mason is beefing with out in that audience on that side of the ring. And look at this from his knees all the way, vertical suplex position. The blood rushing to the head. And look at the show off. Wow. The fans appreciating that one. And Tyson Dukes wasting no time and effort right back to that reverse chin lock. Rick Root Styles just sitting right down on the lower back. And look at that, making it very hard for him to breathe. Got those knuckles and those wrists right up against the bridge of the nose. This is very, very painful, folks. And Carter Mason could easily go out. Look at his mouth gaped open, having to use his mouth to breathe. And almost three, could have been over here. You can see the eyes almost rolling back into the head of Carter Mason. Dukes now has him up in a seating position. Mason trying to get out of this one. Back into the corner again and with some oomph on it. Broke the hold for just a moment and now looks like uh, some sort of sleeper hold, reverse naked and again into the corner. Irish whip and a reversal here. Mason crumpling out of the corner. More damage to that back, and Tyson Dukes just standing over Carter Mason like fallen prey. Slowly, very slowly to his feet. The larger man just chopping away at the premier champ. Once again to the far side, and with some stank on it. Look, he bounced all the way back out to the middle of the ring. Tyson Dukes doesn't even have to move. Served up on a silver platter. The methodical nature of Tyson Dukes is uh, somewhat unsettling at times. Almost no emotion. Oh, wow. Straight hooks to the breadbasket. That'll take it out of you. And a chop to boot. And look at the attitude for Mason saying, come on, give it to me, big guy, come on. But Dukes, just too much for Mason. Chopping him down. One more time, says the audience. It'll be one more time into the far corner. And one more time with a reversal from Mason. Slipping the slam this time. Huge jumping knee from the champ. Pulling it out of the arsenal. Nobody is better at demand Lucha with the knees than Carter Mason. And here is the chance for the champ. Gonna take a little bit of recovery time, but he needs to get on top of the cyborg Tyson Dukes. It has been all Dukes this match thus far. Both men slow to their feet. Dukes looks like he's in control though. Bam, big form. And returned. 
I am not unfamiliar with this situation. Carter Mason and Tyson Dukes standing toe to toe in the middle of the ring, throwing forearms. These two guys tore down the house at Vampiro's underground invasion at Lee's Palace a couple years ago. And here they are at the Forge in Mississauga doing the same thing here. And big elbow from Tyson Dukes. Top of the head, forearm, and another elbow. Dukes has outclassed Carter Mason this entire match, in my opinion. No offense, champ. And I'm sure he's looking to put away Carter Mason. Oh! Snap super kick right to that wrapped up thigh. And again to the face. Third time's the charm. Side of the head. Tyson Dukes in serious trouble here. Carter Mason, what's he going to do? Here we go. Going to go for that guillotine. Sit down on his opponent. No, what's he doing? Rolling through here. Doesn't have to worry about getting his shoulders pinned to the mat. Submission only, great fighting and pulling down on that guillotine choke. Tyson Dukes though gonna power up. You can see the pain on Dukes' face. He's having trouble breathing. Pounding on the side of Carter Mason. He's gonna have to pop those hips, duplex out of this thing, but fading down to the canvas. Tyson Dukes, the first time we've seen him in any kind of trouble in this match. Cody Ireland checking. No way, give me a break. Carter Mason like a pit bull dug in. That a serious, a serious surprise here. In my opinion, Carter Mason choking out Tyson Dukes. Ladies and gentlemen, was not going to let go of that hold. He knew he was in trouble. You can see how winded he is. He's not jumping up and celebrating too quick here, but still, premier champion, this kid climbs every single mountain we put in front of him and stands on top. There he is. And telling that Tyson Dukes fan, still champ, buddy, in your face. crumpling to the ground. Look at both of these guys. And Dukes, I don't think he doesn't know what happened. He's only just now realizing. Tyson Dukes has ruled Ontario wrestling for a long time, but now there is a new king in town, the king of the north, Carter Mason, still Lucha Premier Champion. Introducing first. The team of Chip Hook and Alright, here we go. Second match on the bill, and one of my favorites, the rock and roll rodent Chip Punk, is in the house and teaming up today with a man who is making his long overdue debut here at Demand Lucha, the master of maneuver, Reverso, the man of a thousand reversals. And uh, they are taking on a weird mystery team today. I have no idea who these guys are. Here we go with the tail shake. It's time to get nuts at Demand Lucha. And their opponents being accompanied to the ring by El Doctor with El Doctor. Okay. Oh wow, look at this guy. This uh this must be El Doctor, I would assume. Oh wow, look at that. Exposed brains on the mask. This guy's a weirdo. And look who's lurking through the curtain behind him. Two massive individuals here. Obviously, this is Los Medicos. Look at, look at, geez, look at this freaking guy. This other guy's massive, thick as a house. And the other guy's quite a bit taller. Both of these guys are gonna absolutely tower over their opponents here today, Chip Punk and Reverso. 
El Doctor very slow uh, moving here. Thought I saw a little bit of gray poking through that mask. Obviously not too spry, this guy. A whole bunch of debuts here. I know Chip Punk well, and Reverso has done very well in Ontario and across Canada. Very popular, a hell of a competitor, but it is his debut here at Demand Lucha and the, the debut of these, uh, these Los Medicos as well. So this is going to be very interesting. Remember, you can go to DemandLucha.com for all the latest news and information about Demand Lucha and check out all of our back content and links, including LuchaMarket.com, where you can get all our latest t-shirts and our trading cards, including the Chip Punk trading card, available now. Let's get nuts. The catchphrase of Chip Punk, and we are going to get nuts here tonight. So what's going on in the ring here? The referee seems... Uh, a little bit intimidated, but this guy's not moving at all. And of course, then he moves as soon as I say that. But still, just standing right in the center of the ring. I guess they're waiting for El Doctor to get out of the ring. And there's the official bell. Tag team action here at Lucha de los Muertos. Chip Punk trying to uh, size up his opponent here. And <laughs> a little freaked out by this guy in the ring apron. Wow, just, just palming him down to the canvas. This Medico, we call this guy uh, Medico number one. And I guess the guy outside though, who's, geez, way, way bigger than his partner. He's a little bit, he's not quite as stout and as thick, but obviously much taller. We'll call him Medico number two. Is, is it Medicos or Medico? Medico. Medico one in the ring, Medico two outside, and Reverso, the master of maneuver here. I think he's trying to figure out what, uh, which one of his maneuvers he's gonna use first, I guess. Somersault out of the way. This Medico, he's not exactly in a rush here to do anything, it seems. Catch and Reverso this time, could be in trouble, kid. Didn't reverse out of that one. Just racked all of him into the corner. Oh, but reversed out of the corner there and peppering the big guy with shots. Doing nothing, drop kick, going nowhere either. And just powering out of that snapmare attempt, throwing him around like a rag doll. And the man of a thousand reversals just uh, reversing right out of the ring here. Tag to Chip Punk. And a tag between the Medicos here as well. Medi Medico number two now getting in the ring. I mean, look at this freaking guy. The fans firmly behind Chip Punk, as anyone would be. In behind with the waist lock. Oh. Eats an elbow, and you can hear that. Suplex attempt and out. Punk filling him with forearms. And nothing here. Look at the size of this guy towering over Chip Punk. In the corner, float over. Punk to the opposite side, getting some steam. Wow. And just crumpled to the canvas. There's El Doctor on the outside looking very pleased. Talking with the fans, I guess, uh, agitating fans. Punk, somersault of his own out of the way. These guys, they are using their quickness to gain any kind of advantage they can. But look, as you can see, there's nothing going on for these guys. Neither of these medicos seem to be feeling the effects of anything these two young guys are doing. Oh, wow. That gives me the chills. That is some creepy stuff. And look at medicos number one, the big guy here, moving a little bit faster than we thought. Kind of surprising. The master of maneuver, maneuvering himself right into a bad situation here. Was going for some sort of rollout, like headlock takeover, whatnot, into the corner. And there's the headlock he was going for. Can he take him over? I don't think so. These Medicos, neither of them have been off their feet yet. 
Work on Rana. Down right, face first onto the knee. The master of maneuver. Oh, oh indeed. Lots of cool moves from Reverso, but cool moves are not needed when you're just shy of 300 pounds. Medico number one here just mowing down Reverso. And the doctor outside very pleased with his, uh, his minions here, his, his henchmen. Medico number two now in. Big stomp. Look at the muscle on the forearm of this guy. Reverso reversing out again. Springboard back elbow, going nowhere, quick tags. This is what these guys are gonna have to do. They wanna get one of these two medicos off their feet. Punk, oh, just flapjacked right down to the canvas, volleyball style. Now medico, uh, I mean, should be following up in my opinion. Very methodical, these guys. Pretty slow paced evening for Demand Lucha so far, opening up with our submission match. A lot of ground and pound there, and these medicos obviously are in no rush to dominate and destroy their opponents, and that is exactly what they're doing, folks. Look at him just clubbing down Chip Punk to the ground. Picking him up front, face lock, and a tag. Oh man, I would hate to see double team maneuvers from these two guys. Straight shot to the ribs. Medico picking him up and putting him down. Big slam, center of the ring. And look at the intensity of this Medico. The heaving chest, breathing. And wow, look at the agility. Whoa! Massive elbow, absolutely squashing Chip Punk into roadkill here. Reverso looking rather concerned, and you can't blame him. Chip Punk, look, holding the ribs. What's going on here? Reverse chin locker, no, just setting him up for some clubbing blows back and forth, side of the head. Look at the absolute unbridled viciousness of these medicos. And squashing him again, big leg drop. Wow, that's a surprise. And reaching out now for Reverso. The Medico just staring at him. Chip Punk trying to crawl. And this Medico seems uh, fascinated and enthralled by Chip Punk and the, the pain he's in, struggling to the corner here. Oh, snap! Jab right to the jaw of Reverso, and he's all the way outside here to the, uh, the AstroTurf. There's AstroTurf here underneath the ring at the Forge, which is very interesting. But nonetheless, outside the ring, and the Medico now just ragdoll and chip punk out of the ring. Both of these guys outside the ring on either side. And there's the doctor. Oh no, don't tell me he's got his eyes on chip punk. Reverso thinking the same thing here. Referee stopping him cold and the doctor just, ow, oh, jeez. Just giving him that weird stare before slamming that cane into the gut in the ribs area. Chip punk taking a lot of abuse to his ribs in this match. And all of these guys are just so weird with the way they look at you and twitch their head around and stuff. And Chip Punk twitching the head of Medicos number one here. Forearms from Punk, he's fighting back. Shoved to the canvas with ease though. Wow, big overhand chop and that'll take skin right off your chest folks. Look at the size of these Medicos. And now the bigger of the two. I don't know which one to call bigger. I mean, they're both very large in their own way. But Medicos attempted double team here. Somersault to Reverso back in the ring. What the hell is this kid gonna do against these guys? Catching the leg. Oh, nice one. Oh, run up, kicks to the face. Somersault backwards under the boot. Reverso, here we go. Now we got some momentum going for these kids. Now, snatched right out of midair. Here we go, Chip Punk, get him, kiddo! Reverso slipping down, Punk! Oh, man! <laughs> that puts an end to that. Reverso now being picked up, and big Bradley Beal across the ring like a rag doll. My God! 
And then we see the doctor skulking around outside on the wrong side of the ring, in my opinion. He should be in his own corner. Reversal squashed in the corner. What's going on here? Oh, wham! Huge sidewalk elbow combination, demolition styles. What? That was over for sure. The doctor putting a stop to this thing for some reason. He wants them to administer more damage. And now creepily whispering in the ear of uh, med medical number two here, the taller guy, medical number two. Tag out. The thicker of the two, more weight getting in the ring. Fly into the, wow, oh, jeez. Bouncing out of the corner like a rubber ball reverso. Big splash. Another one in Medicos number two taking out Chip Punk on the ring apron there. And big tilt a whirl slam. What's going on here? Second rope. And squashing him with the senton. Wow, an impressive victory. And a very impressive, oh geez, look at this freaking guy. A very impressive win here for the debut of the Medicos, Los Medicos, excuse me, and El Doctor. We gotta find out some more about this guy, this Doctor, and these Medicos that he has in tow here. These guys are, very subservient to this doctor guy, El Doctor. Unfortunately, not the best debut here for Reverso at Demand Lucha, but I'm sure we will see both him and the Rock and Roll Road and Chip, Pack, Chip Punk back soon enough. We'll see what's going on here in the future for these guys. Oh man, that Medico. <laughs> I don't blame these guys for being afraid. These guys are absolutely creepy as hell. We're going to, uh, I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna get somebody here. We're gonna figure out exactly what's going on. So somebody somewhere, whether in the back or management here at the Man Lucha, somebody's gotta know something about this guy. We're gonna figure it out. Take note, folks. Drink it in. Los Medicos and El Doctor. And I highly doubt this is the last time we've seen them here at the Man Lucha. Look at these freaking creeps, my God. in the palms of fans in the audience. That's very traditional for Speedball. Internationally traveled all over Japan with DDT Wrestling. Before the pandemic was going to the UK all the time for Rev Pro and will be returning there next week for the British J Cup. Good luck to Mike Bailey there. But tonight, he's got Mexico's Arrow Boy on his platter at Lucha de los Muertos for Demand Lucha. Mike Bailey finally making his way back here. do love speedball and I love speedball always an exciting match when speedball Mike Bailey's in the ring and his opponent tonight no slouch either though Another big return here at Demand Lucha. Arrow Boy, the hardcore luchador. Check this guy out, covered in scars all over his body. A big star all over Mexico's backyard and underground hardcore lucha scene. 
but the hardcore luchador arrow boy can flip and fly with the best of them. This is gonna be one hell of a matchup. Got an arrow chance starting here. And look at Speedball, always the sportsman Speedball, Mike Let's Bailey, go, you gotta love this guy. And obviously other people love him too. A lot of Speedball fans in the audience here tonight. Arrow Boy, not quite as well known here in Canada, but Speedball from right up the road in Montreal. Gonna be a lot of Speedball fans in the audience here tonight. Recently just won the IWS Hardcore World Championship in Montreal, Speedball, and of course a former open weight champion here at the Man Lucha. But uh, Arrow Boy, no slouch himself. There we go, Speedball. Like I said, always the sportsman. But Arrow Boy, no slouch himself. Lots of titles down in Mexico, tag team championships alongside his childhood friend, Violento Jack. Both of these guys, Arrow Boy and Jack, they've got trading cards available at luchamarket.com. You should go check those out. We got a Speedball card coming out very soon as well. You can get all your demand Lucha swag and merch at luchamarket.com. And clean break from these guys. Don't think we're gonna see a lot of uh, illegal tactics. I mean, like I was saying before, Arrow Boy is of course a hardcore luchador, loves those uh, that plunder as it were. But I think we're gonna see a, a clean contest here from these two guys and it's gonna be one heck of a match. Another clean break there from these two guys. Picks the leg, and here we go, starting to speed up. I don't think it's gonna slow down anytime soon, folks. Look at that, Speedball jumping up, and Arrow Boy just tripping him face first to the ground, ah, and in return, ducking the clothesline, spinning over. Again, Speedball, sunset flip, rolling through, blocking the kick, trying to stomp. Another leg pick, these two guys. Double drop kick attempt. And how can you not be impressed? These fans have been thirsting for some speed here this evening and these two guys are certainly gonna give it to them. And Speedball very well may kick his head off in this match at some point. Hand extended. Oh man. You wanna go, huh? There we go. Toe to toe, getting a little bit dirty here at the Man Lucha. Rolling soul butt there from Arrow Boy. Reversal from Speedball. Like I said, folks, I don't think it's gonna, oh, I don't think it's gonna slow down at all in this match. Buckle yourselves in, guys. Speedball's getting ready. Arrow Boy hurting, out of the way. Speedball mule kick, setting him up. Moonsault knees here, classic Speedball. And Arrow Boy out of the way. Speedball, man, he could've hurt his ankles on that one. Jammed it, but got jammed right into the corner there with a big drop kick from Arrow Boy of his own. Planting him right where he wants him. Sent on, and that was deep, man. Kick right to the back of the head. Thought he was gonna go for the spine, but just right on the noggin, speedball. And there, the disrespect begins now. He's saying, come on, Mr. Nice Guy, speedball. I think a lot of people mistake speedball's kindness for weakness. This guy is anything but weak. And clubbing blow, back of the head, shoulder area. Looks like he's working on the, the arms now, Mahi Strahl. Two count only. Arguing with the ref. And Speedball <laughs> ticking in with the chop. Did you hear that? And Arrow Boy did not appreciate it. Big chop right to the jaw. And now choking him out in the corner. Arrow Boy, obviously not quite the sportsman that I was giving him credit for at the beginning of the match here. Couple more chops in the corner, Dos. 
Tres. There we go. Cuatro out of the way. No go with the Cuatro. Speed ball. Reversal from Arrow Boy. And crushing him in the corner. Rolling through. Drop kick right to the face. Two count only for Speedball. Wow, Arrow Boy saw it coming, opened up, braced himself. He took it, but Speedball chopped right down. And look, he's saying, all right, all right, you wanna play? Man! The strength of Arrow Boy, and he knows it too. Both of these guys, very similar in stature. That's why we're having such a great match here. Speedball in incredible shape these days, but looks like Arrow Boy might be slightly stronger, a little stockier. And Speedball, classic here with the continuous kicks and side of the head with the Insigiri. Arrow Boy trying to shrug it off, but look, he is seriously dazed. Speedball combination kicks and just chopping down Arrow Boy. Corkscrew standing moonsault. Classic Speedball, two count only. And Speedball, Mike Bailey's feeling it. And the crowd, like I was saying, a lot of Speedball fans here tonight. And he tried to chop the head off. Reverse kick catches him in the jaw though. Arrow Boy catching that kick, and wow! Sit out power bomb, center of the ring, and that had some stink on it, but two count only. Mike Bailey showing the toughness. Arrow Boy, stop arguing with the ref, get on top of him. Lucha chance starting here. Reversal from Speedball, following him in, nobody home. Oh wow! Did you see the whiplash there? Face first into the buckle. 619 Styles through the rope. And wow, nice rolling sent on there. Arrow Boy saying it's over here. Good luck, kiddo. Speedball's one tough cookie. Butterfly and gets thrown out over the top rope. Speedball, classic here, moonsault to the outside, connects with Arrow Boy, flush. Let's take another look at that here. Speedball just crushing him, knees to the face, right on target. count now, both of these guys getting up. Get, better get into the ring. I may have spoke too soon. Here we go, challenging each other on the ring apron. I don't have to tell you about that apron, folks. Chop battle, that one had some stank on it. Seems like Arrow Boy is the more proficient chopper throughout this match. Speedball really feeling those chops, trying to step up his game here. Arrow Boy, though, getting away from the chops. It's now a kick battle, and this one is something he might lose. Oh, I'm just paintbrushing him, catching the leg, forearm, Speedball. Here we go, trying for the German. Speedball picking the leg. Nobody home for the moonsault knees. Speedball hurting on the outside. Here comes Arrow Boy. Oh! <laughs> Wiping him out, and he could have wiped out some fans here, too. Absolutely incredible. And the fans are right into this one. Speedball back inside. 
Runs right into a shoulder block. Sunset all the way in, rolls through again though. This time Arrow Boy had it scouted. And that as well, catching the leg. Wow, look at this. Very innovative leg trap submission here. Speedball, looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh, wow. Arrow Boy rolling through, spiking the DDT but two count only, and as you can see, a little bit of disappointment there on the face of Arrowboy. Dirty looking kick there, right to the back of the ribs. Arrowboy going for that butterfly again. And no speedball. Rana right into a pin. Trading. Oh, PK right to the face. Standing double knee moonsault. And wow, that one really connected. Speedball setting him up. Gonna knock his block off. Wham! Could be all over here. Oh. Speedball so close to a victory. Getting the fans behind him. Setting him up again for one of those kicks. Arrow Boy all the way to his feet though. <laughs> Back to the chops. Arrow Boy has knocked down Speedball with some chops in this match. Speedball has yet to actually knock down Arrow Boy with a chop, so that might have been what he was trying to do. To check that box, but rolling through into the cross arm breaker here. That might have been a mistake. Arrow Boy in control. Speedball pretty close to the ropes, but. Doesn't look like he's quite there. There we go, he's touched for a second. Finally, the referee breaking that one up. Arrow boy, what's he got in mind here? Wow, handspring off the ropes, knocking speedball to the ground. What's this? Here we go, Arrow Boy! Oh! And just lay it out, Speedball Mike Bailey. Wow! An absolute car crash outside the ring. You can hear the chairs crashing about. Obviously, not a soft landing. Let's see if we can get another look at that. <laughs> look at this, the carnage. Speedball once again thrown back into the ring and not up quite as quickly this time. Not up at all, in fact. Arrow Boy, what's he got planned? Missing the Swanton. Rolling out Speedball. Wow, classic Speedball tornado and into the corner with the kick. Arrow Boy, moonsault, double knees, wham! And it's over! Speedball, Mike Bailey here at the Man Lucha. Speedball, Mike Bailey. And look at Arrow Boy feeling that one. Absolutely brutalized. And what a well fought and hard fought, deserved victory for Speedball, Mike Bailey here at the Man Lucha. Standing ovation here at the Forge. Everybody on their feet for these two athletes. And Speedball, real recognized, real folks. Getting the fans to give it up for Arrow Boy here. I told you this was gonna be a hell of a match. And I told you that Speedball was always the consummate sportsman. Looking for the shake. and gets it. Big time respect here. The North and the South, Canada and Mexico getting together and providing us with one hell of a match here tonight.
first from the ancient Green Hills of Montreal. He is the hardcore hero, the Green Phantom. Green Phantom back at the Man Lucha, and this guy is a complete psycho. I love the Green Phantom. Covered in glitter? Green Phantom with the classic Phantom pose. He'll drop that elbow on you in a heartbeat too. Hardcore athlete to the extreme. Tables, tacks, chairs. This guy will go nuts. But he'll also have a fun time in the ring. And he is indeed covered in glitter. I don't know if that's coming off his robe or if he's just covered in glitter. I think he's probably just covered in glitter. Probably all the time, too. It's not just for ring entrance. And his opponent. Love Space Monkey, one half of the Royal Canadian Tag Team Champions currently with Shane Saber, the Space Pirates, but one-on-one -on -one action here today. Both of these guys mainstays at Man Lucha, and I cannot uh, recall if they've had a one-on-one -on -one matchup here before, but it's gonna happen tonight, and I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Monkey with some merch, Monkey merch, going out to the kids at ringside there. Those uh, coveted, like, single row uh, seating on the two sides of the ring there. That's some good stuff. You get a lot of interaction over there with the wrestlers. Monkey with the trench coat, wearing all of the gear he wears when he's usually uh, tagging up with Shane Saber. So in his tag team outfit here today, representing tag team champions at Demand Lucha. We're gonna hear a lot of jaw jacking and shit talking here from the Green Phantom in this match, believe me. All right, here we go. Y'all didn't know, but it's actually Monkey's birthday. Wow, really? I don't, I don't think this is uh, Monkey's birthday today. Monkey actually looks a little bit confused as well. He's like, me? Yeah, I mean, you know. He's like, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. It is not Monkey's birthday today. Green Phantom from behind. A little bit of subterfuge. Get with the green and dropping the elbow, like I said. Wrapping the arm. It's always fun to see the Green Phantom here at Demand Lucha, but this guy is one sadistic son of a bitch, believe me, folks. Monkey better watch his back. And grabbing Monkey here. No, no, wait, he's biting him. Fighting back. Monkey, obviously, a sadistic son of a bitch himself as well. Underneath, Monkey running around. Nice run out taking the bigger man over. Those are the kind of maneuvers you're gonna have to use. Tall, lanky guy like Green Phantom into the corner. And classic monkey flip from Space Monkey. Opposite side, is he gonna do it again? And a second time. Phantom feeling it. And Monkey feeling it here too. Look at this, gonna get the fans behind him. Third time's the charm in the corner. What's he doing? He just, ew. oh man, grabbed a bug out of the beard of Phantom and Phantom just squashing him down foot first. And now Garvin stomp all over Space Monkey. That's what you get for eating bugs out of my beard, bro. Stupid monkey. What kind of, what kind of bug is gonna reside in that beard too? All dyed green and shit? Well, I wonder if it's even dye. I wonder if the Green Phantom grows green hair. I would not be surprised if that happens. Very lackadaisical kick out there. Monkey seems rattled, holding his head. Green Phantom could be well on his way to a victory here. Just pounding down on Monkey. He was biting, he bite him again, bit him in the rib area. 
Phantom going back again though. Swinging Impaler style DDT. Could be all over here. No. Yeah, Phantom transitioning into the Fujiwara. Very pleased with himself using his size and strength to easily control this match. And the Phantom is having a good time. He likes to hurt people. Telling him to give up. Monkey struggling, stretching, crawling. Trying to get to the rope and using the tail. That's what I'm talking about. That does count. Monkey feeling it there. Wow, double sledge right to the foot of the Phantom. And a second time. Straight shot to the gut and Monkey fighting out from underneath. Chops, uppercut. Big jump up into Gary. And the Phantom is dazed. Not dazed enough though. Back to that arm bar. Trying to get it. Gotta break the grip of Monkey. Monkey fighting real hard here. And finally, cross arm breaker rolling through though. Looks like a pin position. Two. Tried to jackknife him over. And he almost got the pin there, folks. Crucifix, Phantom down. One, two. Monkey's not out of it yet by far. And big headbutt to the solar plexus there. Monkey feeling it. Sunset over. Oh, pulling, <laughs> pulling up his pants and missing the punch. Phantom feeling it, Monkey. Wow, turns right around into the chop. Yeah, Phantom very pleased with himself. Glittering in the spotlights here. Jesus. And another chop right into the get with the green pose. Wasted a lot of time here, in my opinion, being very pleased with himself. Phantom, as you got in mind, grabbing the tail and deep Manhattan drop right across the tail. Monkey feeling that one. And look, giving himself a round of applause, Green Phantom. I told you this guy was sadistic. What a weirdo. And now Monkey's covered in glitter too from the Phantom. Bringing him up. And again, Atomic Drop once again right on that same spot on the tail. Green Phantom has revealed his game plan and it's attacked the tail of Monkey here. And out of it there, spinning heel kick right to the back. Phantom almost down, but not quite. On the ropes, Monkey recovering out on the apron now. What's he got in mind? He's not doing this by accident, folks. Oh, parkour style kick, getting ready, up to the top. Hey, look at that, windmill holding onto the ceiling and another Rana from Monkey. That was impressive. I've never seen anybody at one of our shows hang from the ceiling, so that's good stuff. Straight shot from Monkey and you can hear that one. Irish whip, windmill again. And classic monkey right to the face with the knees. Springboard moonsault, second time. Bam, this time landing on Phantom's knees. I don't think he got that quite the way he wanted. And Phantom out. Monkey not too pleased, but he's gonna have to keep on top of the big man. Pounding the tail on the canvas. Getting ready now to use that tail whip finisher he likes to use. The crowd fully behind Space Monkey now, and Phantom very slow to get to his feet. And look, now crawling away from Monkey, he sees what's going on. Locks it, knew it was coming, and runs right through Monkey. Look, folded him right in half, all the way over. <laughs> Indiana Jones, chilled Monkey Brains. Setting him up here, what's he got in mind? The Phantasm all the way down. And Monkey kicks out. I am just as surprised as the Green Phantom. Now 
Phantom pissed off now. Phantasm, second time. Monkey fighting out off the ropes. Wham, big spinning tail whip right to the face. Phantom doesn't know where he is. Quesadora all the way through. And a three count here for Space Monkey. Nice victory. Here's your winner, Space Monkey. Space Monkey with a hard fought victory against the Green Phantom. That sadistic son of a bitch is going home with the L and not too pleased with himself here. Monkey, he's on guard. If you want some more, bud, I'm ready to go. Big victory here for one half of the World Canadian Tag Team Champions. Gonna soak in that adulation. Everybody loves Space Monkey. He's so innocent. He's so fun. Come on, how can you not like this? Fan cam getting a face full of monkey. What's this? It's that music again from earlier. Don't tell me these medicos guys are coming out here. And this guy, okay, hey, wait, we ended up getting some information about this guy. Here we go. Ignatius Zoknoff, this guy, a former mass wrestler, a uh, very young age from what we hear, former light heavyweight German wrestling champion, supposedly very cerebral in the ring, a serious ring psychologist used to torture his opponents mentally and physically in the ring, was eventually barred from wrestling and disappeared, supposedly is a doctor now. Get this, this guy showed up in the late 90s in Paraguay in underground shoot fighting rings, also wearing a mask. Uh, with an entourage of all these guys supposedly that he does experiments on. What's this with a banana? Don't fall for this, Monkey, come on. And Monkey, just a simpleton, really. This guy, who knows what he's got in store for Monkey, and Monkey's falling for this crap. What are you doing? Monkey sitting down, eating the banana, and the doctor, whatever this guy, Zoknov, is up to here. What? Me measuring the cranium of Monkey. And see, that's the thing. Supposedly, this guy, this Dr. Zoknov, became obsessed with the mind after his wrestling career. The ability to instill fear and control people. And this whole time, these underground shoot fighting rings, supposedly the guy showed up, like I said, in the late 90s, was in his 60s, supposedly, late 60s, 70s. Who knows how old this guy is now? But obsessed with the mind and in these shoot fighting rings had these huge men with him that supposedly was doing mind experiments on about subservience, pain tolerance and control, obsessed with the brain, the human genome, this guy, obviously a twisted, sadistic son of a bitch. And what's this slapping the banana out of the hand of Monkey? And oh man, here come the Medicos. Obviously some of these huge men we were talking about that he has experimented on. Look at these twisted freaks, all decked out in white. And Monkey, on guard. These guys, they do not care. Monkey, seriously intimidated. How can you not be? Get out of there, Monkey, while you can, bud. Oh. And now the attack begins. And so do the jeers. The fans not pleased with this. And if I was Monkey, I would roll out of there right away. Get the hell out of there, kid. This Dr. Zoknoff, whoever he is and his medicos, on the scene here at the Man Lucha. And squash. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if it is his birthday, but come on. Give us a break here. And once again, with that tilt-to-whirl slam they used to win their match earlier. What's going on here? 
Is this a body bag? They're gonna put him in a body bag, whatever kind of experiments the doctor has in mind. Obviously measuring the cranium and the, uh, the tail earlier of uh, Space Monkey. Ha obviously has some nefarious uh, plans in mind. Kick it at our referee. Somebody's gotta get out here. Give me a break. There we go, Brian Renda, our referee, screaming to try and get some help out here. This has gotta have something to do with the fact that Monkey's a tag team champion. And here we go, Chip Punk on his way down. And here come a bunch of our students, guys from the opening matches, coming to the rescue here. Gonna get Monkey out of that bag. And these medicos, this, this Zoknov, these guys, they're just standing there in the corner. They don't look too intimidated. Look at this one guy. Jeez, laughing now like a weirdo. Monkey finally out of that body bag. These guys slowly stalking their way towards our undercard here. Chili Brown standing his ground. He's ready to go. Get out of there, guys. Powder. These guys, though, finally getting out of there, and geez, I do not know what the end game is here for this Zoknov, but uh, pretty creepy stuff. Once again, El Doctor. Now there's a very vocal woman here in the audience and Zognov sending his boys out to get her. I'd be careful if I were you. Stalking around the ring, this guy, he's gotta be, I mean, if any of this information we got earlier is correct, this guy's gotta be creeping up on a hundred or something like that. Look at these guys. Look at this guy here. Stone faced. And then this other guy twitching around. Man. Salknov back there talking with all the kids. Who knows why he's so interested in them. He was doing that earlier at the end of the tag team match when they were out here. Supposedly this Zoknov into brain experimentation, psychology, fear, subservience, all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, I, I would say that we don't even know if this is actually this guy, but certainly seems accurate, especially with the mask here, with the brain showing and sticking out and everything, it's insane. And he's smoking around ringside, he's like talking to all the kids specifically, all around the single row and whatnot. What's he doing here? Jesus, kid, get away. Zoknov just snapping at the crowd, snarling at them. Are you gonna measure the kid's brain now? And here comes one of the medicos. Are you gonna get to eat his brain, take his brain home? Zognov's been after the kids here in the crowd all night long, and he's finally gotten what he wants. I think we're looking at a serious power shift here at the Man Lucha, especially if he's stealing kids from the audience, and nobody seems to want to stop him. I 
Dude, look at him smiling. This guy's happy. Mission accomplished. And now look here, the kid wising up. He's out of here. And we are out of here too. I don't think this is the last we've seen of Los Medicos, but uh, our main event coming up next. This prick, Asylum. Longtime staple in Ontario, has won titles everywhere he's gone, has been chomping at the bit to get back into demand Lucha. Nobody wants this guy in the locker room. Look, what an ass. But if he can come out victorious tonight over Supermax. Jeez. And unfortunately, if he can come out victorious tonight over Supermax Hernandez probably going to be seeing a lot more of Asylum. experience than uh, Asylum, but Asylum has been around for a long, long time. This is going to be one hell of a match. Two hosses in there. Look at the size of these guys. Crotch chop from Hernandez. Here we go. She's going to be a lot of jaw jacket in this match. Hernandez gonna get the crowd started here. And taunting away, building up that meter. Gonna bank some, some finishing moves. Jeez, Asylum in a particularly shitty mood here this evening. Back into the corner, Hernandez showing the strength. <laughs> These two big guys stalking each other. Again, color and elbow, and again, Hernandez back in Asylum Up, who switches it around. break from Asylum. I'm kind of surprised there, but as he just yelled, he does know the rules. And that 
that is music to Hernandez's ears, I'm sure. Again, and this time it's Asylum backing up Supermax. Oh, big open-handed slap right to the gut. Hernandez shrugging it off. No problem, come on. It's gonna get down and dirty here pretty soon anyways. These collar and elbows can't last forever. <laughs> Obviously that kid said something cheeky. Again, center of the ring. And again, Asylum backing up Supermex. Big chop and uh, Hernandez just shrugging it right off, switching him around, pinning those arms. Here we go, what a sweet boy, gonna fix the hair, cow lick, last rights. Oh! <laughs> and Asylum feeling that one. The veteran Hernandez knows how to chop. Chopped his nipple right off. <laughs> Asylum looking frazzled here, surprised by the power of Supermax. And believe me, he's probably the only one. Everybody knows how powerful Supermax is. That's why they call him Supermax. Book ending our show here with a lot of grappling, opening up with the Premier Championship match and ending off here with these two hosses. And Asylum, <laughs> feeling that one. And again, Asylum standing his ground. Uh, okay, <laughs> feeling that one too. A third time. Yeah, that's enough, I think. Asylum, he's, he's, he's a sneaky SOB, this guy. He's just screwing around with Hernandez, and any time now, he's gonna start throwing some big fists, throwing those bombs, and Hernandez better not let his guard down too much. This is not all about fun and games. Complimenting the shoes of Hernandez. Asylum's gonna go for the shoulder block this time. <laughs> and the veteran just tripping Asylum down. The asylum getting hot. He came through the curtain hot. This guy's such an asshole. Asylum threatening to go home, saying he doesn't have to do this. I'd be pleased if he went home, although we would be uh, we'd be out of main event here. People paid for this. Hernandez telling him to take off too. Get out of here, pal. I'll win by count out. Take my money, go home. Sign some autographs. Let's do this. And now Hernandez going out after him. Knock, knock. And wow, straight as an arrow right into the ring, Asylum, and now beg it off Hernandez. Oh, he's giving him space, he's saying, come on, let's go. Oh, here we go. Now we're starting to mean business. Oh, I see what he's doing, he's saying, come here, come on. Light me up, let's see what you got. Jeez. 
Asylum almost falling over there. And Hernandez brushing it off, no big deal. And here we go, face first into the buckle. Here we go once again. Cal Lick, little kiss on the forehead. Read him the last rites. Oh. <laughs> and more crotch chop action from Hernandez. I too am an aficionado of the crotch chop. I do it around the house far too often for just about every situation. Get the guys laughing at work. Everybody loves a good crotch chop. Got a taunt, build up that special. And once again, concerned with his nipple here. Asylum, uh, bit of a weirdo. Asking for one more chance here at the chop. The crowd wants to see it. Here we go. Oh, come on. This is what I was talking about, getting complacent. This guy knows what he's doing. And now choking out Hernandez on the ropes. Give me a break. Dig it in, and now it's getting dirty. Stomping Hernandez on the canvas. And those are no small feet. Let me tell you, folks, her, uh, Asylum is a big, big dude. Elbow to the back of the head and very pleased with himself. Far side, and eating an elbow. Measuring that knee, and a second time. I don't know if that was right on the throat, side of the head, then the throat. Reverse chin lock here, and just gonna wear down Hernandez. And more jaw jack. And I told you we were gonna hear from a lot of asylum a lot in this match. The guy can't keep his mouth shut. Maybe if he concentrate on wrestling a little bit more. Hernandez out to the far side, and taken right down, big lariat from Asylum. Asylum known for a long time, one half of a very famous tag team across Ontario called the Flatliners. A lot of similarities there to the Steiner brothers. And look at him choking out Hernandez here, trying to get away with it. Referee, I don't know if he sees it in again. Another big knee. And into the corner, whip to the opposite side and bouncing right out. Did you see the velocity? And shooting up the double bicep, very pleased with himself here. Asylum slow to his feet. I'd be right on top of Supermax if I was him. You want to get a, a slot on the roster here to Man Lucha? You better come out with the W here, pal. And you don't get that by slowly walking across the ring, jacking the ears there of Hernandez. You need some high impact moves if you want to put this legend away. Fight now from underneath, here we go. Shots to the gut, and a big knee lift right to the face. And now choking him out. Digging into the corner, Asylum. Gonna wear down the big man, Hernandez. Thought we'd see multiple shoulder blocks there, but referee Cody Ireland all over Asylum for taking his time, too much time in the corner. Getting nowhere again, and Supermax. Here we go again. Are we gonna do the cowl kick? There we go. Kiss him on the forehead. Last rights. Wham! And this time, Asylum just crumples right down to the ground. One more time, the fans are asking for it. There we go, some more cross chop action, a little shucking and jiving here. A lot of swagger from Hernandez. I could give him the same advice as Asylum, get on top of your opponent. Don't wanna take this guy too lightly. Asylum will put you away, and there you go, snapping him off the top rope. Quick like a cat into the ring, eating the elbow. Lateral press for a two, Asylum. He's looking for the win here. There you go, front face lock, gonna keep, gonna wear down 
Hernandez here. Bigger man's gonna have to get to his feet. And no, this is not where you wanna be, flattening it out. Sapping the strength and the win from Hernandez. The fans trying to get the big man up. And you can see the pain etched on the face of Hernandez. Trying to get to his feet there and Asylum cuts him right off. He making him break, why is he making, oh he's in the ropes. Hernandez was able to get to the ropes there with just that little bit of effort of getting up. Still spending way too much time paying attention to the fans here. Asylum, if I was him, I'd get right on top of Hernandez. Reversal here, giving him too much time to recover. Banderas over the ropes. Wow, blocking the shot and a big chop right to the face. Far side. And sling shot, shoulder block, Hernandez. Asylum taken out and a big clothesline. Double chop from Hernandez all over Asylum. Grabs him now, far side. And big splash. Sent on from the big man. Going for the cover, two. Two count only. Not quite enough damage administered to Asylum. Like I said, long time vet, this guy is tough. Hernandez though, signaling like he wants to put it away. What's he got in mind? No, no, football tackle right into the corner. And that looked like it hurt. Could have caught him in the stomach, in the ribs. No matter how you end up there, folks, it's not good. And again, following in now with the clothesline and Hernandez down. Asylum, the younger man, that might be the, what, the thing that's keeping him in this. Runs right into a foot, and look at that! Hernandez showing the skill. Crotch chop again. <laughs> eight, eight a big right hand to the face. Was it worth it for the crotch chop? I think it was. I think it was. Leaving himself open, but it's worth it. Big slaps, gonna try and get out of this superplex position, and whoa, box in the ears! Down goes Asylum! And take it to the sky! Super mix like a swan! And it's over! Another cross chop to finish you off. Big win here for Hernandez over Asylum. And hey, you know what that means? It means we don't have to see Asylum anymore. This is great. Finally shutting him up. We gave you the main event you want on the roster. You lost. See you later, pal. That makes me happy. Almost as happy as seeing Supermax come out with the victory here at the Man Lucha. Lucha de los Muertos 2021. traveled the past 20 years all over the world wrestling. And without a shadow of a doubt, you Canadians are bar none the number one fans in all the world. Why isn't that sweet? You guys rock. Keep supporting the band Lucha. Please keep coming back on all your local shows. You never know who's going to raise up. Thank you guys and good night. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time here at Demand Lucha.
Okay, stretching out. I don't know who these big angry nurses are and this other one missing half a skull measuring mine for some reason, but whatever these medicos want, I am bringing Shane Saber. We are gonna fight them November 13th in Kitchener. I cannot wait to get my revenge. Did they ambush me with a banana? That's not fair! We'll put up the tag titles, we don't, we don't care. We will, I just want revenge, I wanna fight them. Shane Saber's coming with me and I can't wait.